Valley Salmon, reporting to you about the life cycle of a salmon. The salmon are born under the gravel to stay safe from all harms. The mom buries them in the gravel and they move to a better place. And the bodies decompose to help the environment and to act as food for the baby salmon eggs. Then, after three months, the eggs hatch into alvin. The alvin feeds off of the yolk sac for several weeks. At five to ten weeks old, they become fried. They swim under the gravel for protection. Then they become par. The par is like a toddler to the humans, but it's actually only several months old. They develop finger markings, and at one to three years old, they are smoked. And they start looking like legit salmon. They then start on their journey to the sea. After one to eight years in the sea, they become old enough to, you know, spawn. After spawning, they die within two weeks. Okay, think far back in time. Way back to when the Greek philosophers ruled the knowledge of the world. They founded the idea of smoking salmon. They realized that if you grind the salmon, the salt in the brine would preserve the salmon for a longer time than just salted or raw salmon. Salted food was most was the most common preserver before the 20th century when refrigerators were invented. Also, the Native Americans of the Pacific North Northwest thought that the salmon was sacred, and if they were handled wrong, the salmon would never come back. So they, they made sure that the salmon were cooked properly. Hi, I'm Millie Mitosis. Did you know that mitosis happens in the everyday world around you? Mitosis is defined as a sequential differentiation and segregation of replicated chromosomes in a cell nucleus that proceeds to a complete cell division. Didn't understand that? In English, that basically means that a cell splits into two to, crea to create a twin cell, repeating over and over. That's how something like your finger is created. But watch out, mitosis doesn't always end up making positive things. A fish contaminated with a single germ cell may end up poisoning you later. This may start off with one single germ cell, but in time the cell can multiply through mitosis and infest the fish. Make sure to wash your hands, the fish itself, and your preparing surface efficiently so you don't consume any germs. Hi. I'm Megan and I'm going to show you how to make smoked salmon. First you take 50 grams of syrup and pour it into a plastic bag. Then you take 30 grams of honey and 20 grams of salt. Then you take your salmon and you put it into the brine. And then you keep it in the brine for 24 hours. And then after that, you rinse it and then you dry it for about three hours. And then you put it in the smoker for three hours. Why this brine? Well, for good flavor and the salt preserves the salmon. And the honey and syrup add sugar and flavor. With the flavor of the honey and syrup, the lipids in the fish combine to create a tasty flavor and a great energy boost. are so important when smoking salmon. They are important because wood chips can smoke and they also preserve the salmon really well. 